Check out what just came in the mail. Some new 13 fishing stuff. This is uh, my box full of reels. We got the Concept A2s, which are my favorite. I got pretty much mostly the A2s. Really good for flipping, frogging, uh, any kind of heavy application is what I'm gonna be using those A2s for. But really, they're pretty much good for anything. The C2s I've really been enjoying for moving baits, uh, especially cranking, all my cranking setups. I've been running the C2, super happy with those. Those are a little bit more lightweight and they cast really well, especially on those crankbaits. I uh, can cast it up against the wind, no issues. So I've really been liking those C2s for cranking. And then the uh, Concept Z2, I do like that reel as well. That's the 13's highest end reel. So grabbed a couple of those like those for various little things uh really liked it for throwing a top water cast those really nicely and uh really cool looking reel too here let me let me show you guys the z2 for you guys that haven't seen them before that one's a pretty cool one it comes with this nice little cap on it too so that is the z2 right there Pretty cool looking reel, it's got that nice matte gray and you got the orange knobs on there. So that's their highest end reel from 13 Fishing. I think it retails for a 275 right around there, um, but well worth it, it's a nice reel. Really cool looking, looks pretty good paired up on their rods. So grabbed a few of those, but like I said, that, that Concept A is really hard to beat. That's kind of 13 Fishing's flagship reel. That's the one that everybody's seen with those cork knobs. So that's what 90% uh, of the time I would say I'll be throwing that Concept A2. So yeah, that's just a super clean reel. Got the nice matte black with the cork knobs. And uh, I think it's got about 32 pounds of drag, 30 pounds of drag, something like that. So super heavy drag system. That's why I like using these for punching, for flipping, for frogging, for any of that high um high stress braid applications. These are gonna be the go-to reels for that for sure. And then I'll show you guys the C2. Another clean looking reel. All the 13's reels are super clean looking. So that's the C2 right there. Got that nice white. Um, it, it almost looks like it's got some little sparkles in it. It's almost like the fiberglass on a bass boat. So really cool. And that one's got the black knobs on it. Like I said, this is the one that I really like using for cranking. Uh, so I've got these ones in some lower gear ratios, the five, six to one, six, eight to one type stuff for throwing crankbaits. Um, but that's the reels. And what I really want to go over today with you guys is some of the rods that I got and uh, just the rods in general, the ones that I've used this season which rods that I like, which rods I recommend, because I get a lot of questions on those. So I'm gonna be going through these rods individually here. All right, let's get started on these rods. So let's see what this first one is. This first one is an Omen. This is 13 Fishing middle of the line rod. So super solid rod, retails for, let's see, this one is 140 bucks. I think they range from anywhere from 120 to about 150, depending on the size and the model. This is the 7.4 medium heavy, and then let's see, what's the action on it? Medium heavy moderate. Uh, so this one's gonna be a good chatterbait rod. I haven't used it too much for a chatterbait, but a couple of my buddies have been using it, and they've really been liking it for chatterbaiting. Uh, so I'm gonna, I got a couple of these guys to try out. I've been using an Envy for chatterbaiting. It's a little bit soft because it's got a little bit of glass mixed into it. Uh, so I really like it. It's got a really good hookup, but it's not quite stiff enough to rip out of some thicker grass. So when I'm fishing like really thick hydrilla with the chatterbait, uh, I'm trying to find a better rod that'll kind of rip it out of the grass. So that might be a good option for me right there. That 7.4 medium heavy moderate. I'll report back on that one as far as the chatterbait if you guys are interested. Uh, we'll do another omen. Let's uh, we'll do them by the series. So I'll pull out a couple of the omens that I've really liked using for the season and kind of talk about those, and then we'll get into some different rods. This one is the 7.5 extra heavy omen. This one has been an absolute beast for me this year. Frogging has been the main use that I've used this rod for. Popping frog, walking frog, anything. Uh, it's listed as an extra heavy, but personally, I think it's more of a heavy action. So it's more, it acts more of like a 7.5 heavy. Uh, so it's been the perfect frogging rod. Been able to pull them out of all 
kinds of junk. And if you've seen me frogging at any point throughout the season, this has been the rod that I've been using, that 7.5 Extra Heavy. So if you're looking for a super solid frog rod, uh, got a little bit of tip to it so you can walk the frog pretty nicely. 7.5, so it's not exactly your 7.6, 7.7 rods. I know some guys like a tiny bit shorter rod, like a 7.2, 7.3, but I've really enjoyed this 7.5, and then it's got plenty of power to pull them out of the thick stuff. So that's that 7.5 Extra Heavy Omen. Would highly recommend this one for frogging. Next omen that we're gonna pull out, oh, that's a, another 7.5 extra heavy. So I ordered a couple of those rods. You can never have too many frogging rods available. I like to throw a popping frog, a walking frog. You always wanna have both of those frogs tied on. The walking frog for more matted up stuff, and then that popping frog for a little bit more uh, sparser cover or open water where you can pop that frog and it not get hung up in a bunch of grass. So let's see what other, what other omens we got here. There's another 7.5 extra heavy. That's uh, that's my favorite Oh, if you guys can't tell. And then another 7.4 medium heavy moderate is what we got in here. So that's what I got as far as the omens. There's a couple of omens. These are some of my rods from this past season. I know I'm gonna get asked in the comments, oh, what do you do with your prior rods from the past season? A lot of these rods I'll end up giving to my local junior club and then some, some other little organizations that uh, I'll donate them to so they get put to good use after a season and then some of my favorite ones I'll actually end up keeping some of the rods that I kind of really like and didn't need to get new ones of some of those I'll end up keeping so we'll move in actually I got one more omen uh, in here this one is gonna be the, the big swim bait omen so that one looks a little bit different this one is the eight foot extra I think it's an extra heavy yeah an eight foot extra heavy uh, omen. This one is for throwing big swim baits, so like your really big mega bass swim baits, big glide baits, stuff like that. This rod, uh, let's see, what does this one retail for? 180 bucks. So if you're looking for uh, kind of a mid to mid entry level swim bait rod, that's going to be a good option. The Omen eight foot extra heavy. Uh, I believe this is the one that Chris Zaldane actually uses when he's throwing some of his bigger swim baits. So that's why I got it. If it's uh, if it's good enough for Chris Zaldane throwing swim baits, then it's probably going to be good enough for me. I really don't get into throwing too many big swim baits, but I figure at least having one of these on hand is probably not a bad idea. All right, the next series that we're going to get into, uh, let's do the Fate. The Fate is, is one of their budget rods, but I've heard really great things about it. This is the Fate Black. Uh, let's see, what do they go for? $89, so pretty affordable rod, and I've heard really good things about it. I got a couple of the cranking rods. This is a 7.3 cranking rod, and then I also got a 7.9 cranking rod and a 7-foot cranking rod. Um, but I've heard really good things about these rods, especially in the cranking models. So a couple of the pros have actually been using these over over some of the, the higher end cranking rods and have been really been liking them. So if you're looking for a cranking setup, something that's not going to break the bank, I would definitely look into the Fate Black. I personally haven't used it, um, but I've heard some really good things from some other pros using them. So I'll report back on these, um, but they feel really great. I mean, for an $89 rod, these things are super light. All right, and then the final series of rods that I ended up going with, which you guys saw me use a lot of this season, is the Envy. This is 13 Fishing's highest end rod, so these ones are a little bit pricey. They're in like the 350 to 375 range, but if you're looking for a top of the line rod, uh, top of the line components, lightweight, good actions, this is gonna be a rod to go to. Let's see, what is this one? This one's a 7.6 Heavy, so this one I used quite a bit over the course of the season. Flipping bushes with heavy fluorocarbon, uh, fishing big worms offshore, you can even use it for Carolina rigs, big swim baits, um, reeling those big swim baits with the underspins offshore, stuff like that. Just something that you need some good power to, but uh, gonna be a pretty lightweight setup, so that's that 7.6 Heavy. I also use it a lot for like a horny toad style bait, uh, swim baits on top water, stuff like that. That's been a really good rod for it. As far as the top water frogs, I still prefer that Omen actually, the 7.5 extra heavy for like your popping frog and walking frog. But for a horny toad style bait, Trixie shark, stuff like that, the Guggen explode toad, that one has been my favorite for that style of frog fishing. The, uh, the next envy that we got here, this is the 7.2 heavy. I haven't used this one all too much. I kind of got one just to try it out for a little bit of frogging action, just to see how it stands up to that 7.5. 
um, extra heavy. This one might be kind of good in tight spots where I'm skipping frogs up under docks or around trees and stuff where I need a little bit shorter rod like I was talking about earlier. That 7.2 uh, might be a good option, a little bit shorter than that 7.5 extra heavy omen for, for some frogging stuff. I believe this one is going to be our 7.9 heavy if I had to guess. Oh no, this one's the the 7.4 medium heavy, I'll talk about the 7.9 in a minute, but that's just a good all around rod, 7.4 medium heavy, can pretty much use it for anything. Uh, I like this one a lot for top water, like a spook, this one's been really good, but that 7.4 medium heavy is kind of a good all around rod that you can throw a variety of different baits on. Here's a 7.1 uh, medium, this one's going to be a really good spinner bait rod. The 7.1 you can kind of spin it around. Uh, cast it up under stuff, cast it short distances, and then that medium action. I always used to think that you kind of needed a medium heavy for spinner baits, but actually my buddy Brian Latimer told me you need to go a little bit lighter and you get a better hookup ratio, you can cast it a little bit better, and uh, he was definitely right on that. That medium action rod is uh, is definitely what you want to go to when you're throwing a spinner bait. So there's also a 7-1 medium in the Omen that's really good that I've thrown a spinner bait quite a bit on. So if you're looking for something a little bit more budget friendly, the 7-1 medium Omen will definitely get the job done for you. Here's another 7-6 heavy uh, Envy series. Let's see if I can find the 7-9. Actually, I may not have gotten the 7-9 because I already had quite a few of those that I was just gonna use again. Yeah, so actually, I actually already had a few of the 7.9s. They must be back there. But uh, I just wanted to mention the 7.9. That's been a really great flipping rod for me. Anything from like a half ounce up to about an ounce, I've been using that 7.9 for. Super lightweight, super balanced, uh, really strong rod. So flipping reeds, flipping pads, when I was up on Champlain, if you guys saw that video flipping the little mats mixed into the reeds, that's the rod that I was using. So if you're looking for a super high quality flipping rod, that 7.9 Heavy Envy, that's going to be the way to go. And that's what I recommend for people. If you're looking for a little bit more budget friendly flipping rod, uh, hard to beat the 7.11 Heavy Omen. That one's actually pretty, uh, pretty stout. You can even go probably up to an ounce and a half on that one. So definitely look into those two rods. Uh, the f uh, this one's a, uh, I thought this was the final one, but I think I might have an one more action in there. This one is a 7-1 cranking rod from NV. So this will be for like little square bills, uh, smaller crankbaits, stuff like that. Super lightweight. These NV series, I mean, top of the line rods, when you're talking $350 rods, uh, they're going to be pretty lightweight. So that's going to be a, a little cranking rod right there. Let's see what we got left in here. A couple of uh, couple of duplicates of some of those other actions that I had talked about. Um, I know there's. I may not have gotten it in this order, but the Envy series does have a, that nice chatterbait rod that I kind of mentioned earlier. The uh, it's like a seven four moderate action. It's a cranking rod. Um, I believe it's a mix between fiberglass and uh, graphite, so it's got a, a really great action to it. So if you're looking for a chatterbait rod for ripping out of lighter grass or even just kind of like an open water chatterbait application, that's probably going to be the one that, that you want to look at. Or like I said, I'm going to be testing out that 7.4 medium heavy moderate omen. So that's probably going to be a, a pretty good one too. Of, I'll get back to you guys on that one as far as the chatterbait. But if you guys have any questions as far as rod recommendations, if you're looking for something for a specific technique, um, let me know in the comments down below. Been super happy with 13 Fishing. I've been with them for now the past a little bit over a year. They're on board again, of course, for 23. And uh, really enjoyed working with all the guys over there. Been working a lot with the rod designer, testing out a bunch of prototype rods. So if you guys have seen on some videos where I'm using some rods that maybe don't have any branding on them or stuff like that, it's probably gonna be some type of prototype that we're testing out. We've been testing out a lot of different punching rods. If you guys have watched my channel, as you guys know, I'm a big puncher, so we've been trying to perfect the perfect punching rod, and we are really close on that one. So I'll keep you guys up to date as far as that rod, because that's probably the number one recommendation uh, that people are asking me for what punching rod to go with. So the 7.11 Heavy Omen, that's a good one for now. The 8 foot extra Heavy Omen, that's a good one for now. Uh, that 7.9 for a little bit lighter punching. 
But uh, once we have some of these new rods in, I'll definitely let you guys know because it's going to be the best punching rod you can get. But appreciate you guys watching this video. Like I said, leave a comment below if you want to know about a rod recommendation or a real recommendation. You get a lot more variety with the rods, so that's kind of why I talked about the rods some more. But if you need some real recommendations, some gear ratio recommendations, let me know down in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching this video.